Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an MSI laptop. This is an MSI Katana GF6611UC model. The exact physical model is an MS-1582. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop or inside the BIOS. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace your battery for yours. If your laptop is not holding up any more charge or it's just discharging really, really quickly and then you might want to replace the battery to keep it the performance or from preventing any inflation, uh, inflammation inside the battery. All right, by removing the battery or replacing the battery, you're not going to change anything in the system. Everything is going to be the same way that it, it was. Just remember, when you replace the battery, you put a new battery in, it is very, very important that you do not power on the laptop. You might want to leave it off for at least five to six hours with the charger connected. After five to six hours, you might want to disconnect the battery, the charger, and power it on solely on the battery and leave it discharging slowly. Don't put any games or anything like that. Just normal use and let it discharge slowly down to 30, 20%. After that, you want to power it off and leave it charging again for five to six hours. That's very important. That initial charge and discharge is really important for the new battery if you want it to last longer. All right, with all this set, let's get into it and let's uh, replace the battery. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. Don't put on a standby or anything like that. Power it off. I'll put a workshop towel underneath so I don't scratch. You want to flip it upside down. And we're going to go over the tools that I'll be using. The tools I'll leave in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Tool number one is an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. And from this tool set, we're going to be using a Philips number zero. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with some opening tools and some tweezers. If not, just get the Pro basic set for the opening tool. I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this set, on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height except one. The one right by the heat sink right over here. So you might want to remove this one first and keep them in a separate pile, just like that. And then you want to start from one corner and remove the rest of the screws and keep them in a separate pile. I'll put a little magnet on my screw bed because I don't like magnetizing them. So this way is easy sometimes. So I'm going to fast forward this part and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you if you want to find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment areas. Appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab yourself the opening tool, in this case, the guitar pick, and you want to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover right there, not the between the screen, the palm rest and the bottom cover. And you want to snap it right there, and then you want to just twist it, work yourself all around. You know, put your finger there so it doesn't go. I'm sticking only about three to four millimeters of the guitar pick. I'm not sticking the whole thing in there. Just do a little bit on the sides, mostly on the front. And then you want to put it down. Grab it from the corner front ends that you already loosen up. Wiggle it around like this, slowly, gently, and push it towards the back, slowly. And then you're going to scoop the back clip. All right. And right away, I can see this big, heavy bottom cover is because there's a big plate, metal plate here. This is to compensate for the missing hard drive. So if you put a hard drive here, then you might want to remove this plate with a glued in there with a heat gun or something. Because otherwise the screen is going to flip over towards the screen. So that's why they have this uh, metal plate here. All right. Once we remove that, uh, we're going to see the battery right over here. The battery model name is an BTY-M492. I'll try to get the link for this battery and I'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. 
All right, to remove the battery, there's one screw right there and one screw right in here and one screw right here. So two on this side and one in here. These screws from here, they come from the bottom cover, so don't worry about it. So go ahead and remove these screws. All right, once you remove the screws, you want to grab the battery, lift it up, bring it up like that. Now that we're going to replace this battery, you can just grab it from the cable and pull it, slide it towards the front, just like that, and then you can disconnect the battery. This is a one, two, three cell batteries, so you can get your. I know up to now, I haven't seen any bigger battery capacity, but this is the capacity for this 11.4 volt, 4,700 milliamp hour, which is a 53.5 watt hour battery. All right. Well, let's say that you got the new battery in. What you want to do, you want to bring it down in this. Before you put it down, it's easier to just grab the connector and slide it evenly inside the jack. Now make sure you pinch it in there all the way in. And then you want to put it down. There's a tiny plastic in here, pin goes through the screw, it's not right there, and one right here. So now it's now moving. Put the two screw on the right side and one screw right on the left. All right, now that you have the battery in place, all you want to do is to grab the bottom cover, put the back end down, scoop it, some half a scoop from the back side. You want to push it down gently and you want to hear those click sounds. Now, if you see any gaps opening right there like this one in the front end you want to pinch them together and then it's gonna close down just like that and the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws remember the tiny screw goes by the heatsink and the rest of the screws goes all around and one in the middle again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a the video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom battery, bottom screws. Just remember, do not power on. Leave it charging at least for 5 to 6 hours before you power it on.